More than 50 years ago, Kansas City, Missouri opened an airport thought to be ahead of its time. Unfortunately, it was rendered obsolete less than a month later. Finally, the city built an airport for the future, and it opens today. Hello, Jet Setters. Welcome to the world's newest airport terminal. This is Kansas City International. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com. What do you say we head inside for the very first time and check it out? This is incredible. Before we explore it though, let's see why Kansas City built something entirely new. We flew into the old terminal just before it closed. When this airport first opened in 1972, it was an innovative design for TWA's hub here. It was built with the idea that passengers would spend as little time in the airport as possible. They'd arrive, walk off of their airplane, step outside, and leave. It was supposed to be even easier for departing passengers who could essentially drive to their gate before flying out. But all of that was before security requirements changed here in the United States. When it was opened, this terminal was absolutely cutting edge. I mean, you're only steps from the parking spots out there to your gate right here. Absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, 26 days after this terminal opened, well, security requirements here in the United States changed. Now, here we are 51 years later, finally opening a new terminal here in Kansas City. When security became a thing, they had to really retrofit this place and kind of create this secure side and then the non-secure side and put up this kind of partition between the two. TSA is just on the other side of this wall. Uh, this is really a radical design. There's nothing else in the world really like it. It inspired the design of Dallas-Fort Worth, DFW, which of course is a larger version of this uh, same structure. It works a little better there, but uh, still a little challenged. This divided setup means concessions had to be forced into spaces that were too small. There were never enough bathrooms. And these hold rooms or gate areas just weren't big enough. So you know how at most airports there's like departures on top and arrivals on the lower level? Here it's just one big roadway. Like it's not separated at all. So arrivals and departures both on this level. Put another way, while most airports have at least two levels for all their functions, this one has to squeeze everything onto a single floor. There can't be too many airports where ticketing is right here and then baggage claim just right next to it right there. I think these are the smallest bag claim devices I've ever seen. They're so cute. <laughs> This distinctive flooring here is really something special, and thankfully, it is something the airport decided to carry into the new space. Well, given all the lessons learned from this innovative but flawed design, let's take a look at the new terminal that's replacing all this. The new space with its 39 gates is much more modern. Let's check it out. The check-in area gives a sense of occasion to any trip. It's spacious and beautiful, and certainly festive on this day. How great that all the airline partners got in on this. Everybody's got a different uh, balloon design. That's really cool. Everybody's excited about this day, no doubt about it. We decided to first head downstairs to the arrivals level to see what it's like for arriving passengers. A fenced-in dog run. They've thought of everything. Let's uh, head outside and check it out. This is going to be a great place to hang out and get some fresh air, whether you have a dog or not. These benches really remind me of the old uh, terminal design. It's kind of cool that they've kept that here. This is so exciting. Suzanne, what do you think so far? New terminal day. It's like Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you guys got to know, many of you may not, is Suzanne's professional education and uh, experience is really in airport terminal design, airfield design, airspace design, all that kind of stuff. So this really is like what you live for. Yes, I mean, flying around is super cool, but airports are even cooler. I think spaces like this, I'm, I'm a little less uh, logical and engineery than you are. To me, this is just such a magical space. Think of all of the connections that are going to get made here. The people who are coming back to Kansas City or people who are seeing family members for the first time in a long time or making business connections. This is such a special place and Kansas City has done it right. This is a central meet and greet area. All the passengers arriving here into Kansas City come through those doors. So that means this is a bustling part of the airport. If you flew out of the old airport terminal or one of them and uh, into the new one, then that means you need to get back to your car. So that's why that sign's there. You've got a bus service that runs you. How great is it that even though we're downstairs, they found a way to get some natural light in here. This is such a nice feature that too few airports uh, figure out a way to do. We headed back upstairs before making our way through security. The security was one of the major sticking points for the old terminal design, so how did it work this time? 
in the old terminals, security was kind of spread out among all the terminals, multiple security checkpoints. Here there's one consolidated checkpoint. It took no time at all. We typed right through. There's 16 checkpoints here. Um, very easy, very smooth. We're here early. I'm looking pretty shaggy and there's a barber shop. So I'm gonna go get a haircut. And would you believe this is not my first airport haircut? I've gotten haircuts as far away as Anchorage and Miami, Nairobi, Tokyo, London. And now Kansas City, and here at Director's Cut, that was such a great haircut. So I met with this advantage, and they were, you know, I pitched my idea to them. And so they were like, I love it. Like, I love it. It has 1,100 square feet sound. And I said, it sounds like we got a deal. And so we just had to go through the process of everything, and we won the bid, and here we are. Next time you're in Kansas City, make sure you have a little bit of longer layover if you have longer hair, and get a haircut here at Director's Cut. You won't regret it. Kansas City is the city of fountains, so it just makes sense you have this centerpiece here in this uh, part of the airport called Fountain. This is such a grand, beautiful space. Remember the old terminals where there was like a tiny bar in the corner, shut in the corner? Look at here, like what a beautiful place to wait for your plane. Construction on this one million plus square foot terminal began in March 2019 and this $1.5 billion project finished on budget and, believe it or not, one day early. It's full of Kansas City-inspired concessions and restaurants. This is now one of those airports that truly reflects its community. You gotta love an airport with a food hall. Cheapest airport water I've ever seen. There's even a business center and a quiet room. The bathrooms in the old terminals were a real challenge. There just weren't enough of them, and there were some before security and then a smaller number after security. It was just generally a challenge. But here in the new airport, they've tripled the number of bathrooms here. It's a much more pleasant experience. By this point in the day, we'd worked up an appetite, so it was time for some lunch. We thought we'd have some barbecue. Hey Jeff, question for you. Is the only true barbecue North Carolina barbecue? I am smart enough not to answer that in a video about Kansas City. <laughs> Let's give Meet Mitch a try. Nothing quite so cool as an airport that really embraces the community that it's in. And no better way to do that in Kansas City than with some barbecue. They're serious about the sauce here in Kansas City. We ordered the brisket and the burnt ends to share. all this barbecue and the first bite is a is a french fry i've heard amazing things about these burnt ends so uh let's give that a go i'm guessing you're not supposed to use a fork and knife but that's like so tender and yet crispy i'm a big burnt end fan now well that was a nice little taste of kansas city but uh, we're gonna head over to the sky club now delta is the only airline at least as of right now with a club here at kansas city so it'll be great to check out this place let's head that way the walk from Concourse A to Concourse B, where Delta operates, takes no time at all, and they're even moving walkways. These are the first moving walkways in a Kansas City airport. Even if you're not paying attention, it's impossible to miss all the art throughout the airport. But the airport's designers didn't stop at art. They also highlighted history here. And remember the floor in the old terminal? Well, here it is. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find medallions like this all over the terminal. Looks to me like the last of those gates over there are waiting to be open until they can tear down the old terminals. Sorry to see them go, but it's nice that there are ways the airport has found to retain the memory of that old place, because as challenging as it may have been for passengers, it still was unique and deserves to be remembered. Stepping into Concourse B, you're greeted by the airport's version of Kansas City's historic city market. Nearby, you'll also find the entrance to Delta's Sky Club. It's a really special place, located upstairs, above the hustle and bustle below. It's a bright and airy environment. It even has two patios. A little chilly out here, but uh, pretty nice space nonetheless. This will be really good in the spring and, and uh, fall. We headed back downstairs. It was nearly time for us to leave, but not before we could check out some of the other amenities. 
all of these spaces here at the new Kansas City International Airport are not only beautiful, but also so much more functional than the old terminals. Uh, for example, these hold rooms, these uh, gate areas, are so much more spacious. It's easier to get comfortable here, for sure, than those old ones. Okay, I just found the best seats in the house here at Guy's. Those three seats right back there, you've got a great view uh, of the gate area. This is where you want to be. So how do you feel about the architecture in this terminal? I love how open and spacious it is. It feels um, comfortable, but also like roomy. And, and I love also how they've put in all these workspaces in the gate areas. It's just so functional. Yeah, there's like that warm wood. There's kind of these lights guiding you down the corridor. There's these beautiful clear story windows up there. <laughs> I'm letting light in down the concourse. What a spectacular opening day here at Kansas City International Airport. I love being a part of it. Everybody is so excited about this space. It was amazing to see how much pride everyone here has for it, and they should. This is a world-class airport. Between now and the next time. See you at the airport. It's a new terminal day. This is like my Christmas. 1972. Now this one opened in 19... Uh, Pick up your uh, the person you're picking up and then move right on. Your bags didn't have to... Have to... But there's a flaw with that design. <laughs> Please start over. Your bags didn't have to travel far in the old Kansas City Terminal. Across the different concourses. What a spectacular opening day here at the Kansas City International...